Hello everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. Today we're going to be taking a look at some settlement buildings along with pug meat boots. Mm -hmm. Chinese Assault Rifle Animations by War Daddy. This adds new animations to Wasteland Melody's Chinese Assault Rifle to make them a little bit nicer. So as you can see here, this is the original. And then here's the new one. And then you got them both side by side there. Look at that. House Armor by Eleonora. You'd think this would be the weird mod of the week, but guess what? It's not. You can now wear a house, or tiny houses, dog houses, and fences and stuff, all over your body. To get the house armor, you'll have to travel to the glowing sea to fight a very, very deadly enemy, as you can see here. This is him trying to kill some flies or something. Basically, just murder him. Murder him and steal his clothes. There you go. Now you're your house. Legget Armor by Mr. Mobius by Blaine Mobius. That's right, everyone. You can now cosplay as the Legget. Surprise, old friends. Oh, damn. Here we go. Meet new ones and learn how to love again. Oh, I love you, Legget. I'm so glad this is definitely what you look like and not just armor that you're wearing. Oh, I love you. Yep. Pug Meat Boots by Stars Hockey. Pug Meat Boots. Pug meat boots. There's 12 new pug meat boots. Put them on his tootsie footsies. Look at those boots. Make them out of chemistry station. They're beautiful. They're great. Pug meat. Pug meat boots. Drumlin Diner by Ciano. Drumlin Diner's always been a dumb and will continue to be one if you don't download this mod. Look, Trudy's been having problems. Kids on drugs. She does not have the caps to fix that kid. Can't send him to camp. There's no camp. World's over. Place looks like a dump. This mod makes it look less like a dump, more like a place you buy a burger. Maybe take a dump in the restroom, which this one doesn't have. What kind of diner is this? Anyhow, this makes Dremelin Diner a little bit better. Puts two beds in there, cleans up some tables, makes things a little bit nicer. You know, beds aren't for you though. Can't rent them. It's for Trudy and her son. Look at them. Look at them. Nuka World's Shopper's Paradise by Ryan FSS. Nuka World had some sweet cowboy assets, and it's a shame we couldn't really use them, but now you can. Now you can build your very own cowboy town. Located under the stores menu, you now have a plethora of structures to build. You've got wooden cowboy buildings, vendor markets, there are three tiers for each of the vendor markets so you can upgrade as your town gets bigger. There's even a hot tub. Look at that. Boom. You can also add shutters to your stores so rats don't get your food. And this is pretty sweet because now you can truly become a cowboy in Boston. And that's actually the name of my new book coming out. It's called uh, Become a Cowboy in Boston. It takes you through five phases of becoming a cowboy and everything. It shows you how to build these structures hand by hand, nail by nail. So basically you get cowboy structures. Some are pre-built, others you can put together. Three tiers of vendors, static items and decorations for all those vendors, and misc decorations for anything else cowboy. This is a great pack, and perfect for anyone who wants to build a cowboy town. The Harvest Boon by Shonic the Oat Meme. When the harvest moon shines, you know it's dinner time. Let your children know that when the harvest moon is out, it is not safe outdoors. Most werewolf deaths can be attributed to parents downplaying the safety effects of werewolves. Werewolves, while easily detected by modern devices, can still cause permanent injuries such as death. The Harvest Moon does not make actual werewolves in your game, but it does make the moon bigger, brighter, and redder. We admire the week! You think that humans have all the jobs? Hogging those salaries and those non-hammer hammering jobs? Introducing Workshop Rats. The perfect way to get more rats into the workforce. This replaces all settlers in Sanctuary into God-loving citizens of the Great Rat Empire. May the cheese blow in our winds for another thousand years. There's also a button you can press that'll spawn rats, then you can assign them to things, and I, I guess they do them? I don't know, this rat's supposed to be doing crops, but he's just kind of standing there. Your stats do go up for the things they're applied to, so it does work, but sometimes they just, you know, won't do the animations because that would look weird. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this episode of List of Mods. Thanks for watching, leave any suggestions in the comments and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the future. Away!